Thank you for visiting me on a Wednesday. <laughs> How are you? How have you been? It's good to see you. <laughs> I've been busy, but not too busy, leisurely busy. Let's see, I've been working on my Breeze Cardi, which is the free Ravelry um, pattern I've been working on with the um, Hobby Lobby yarn. Let's see, so I'm making duster length. So I got the length done. Oh, look, there's a pattern switch right there in the pooling. So I got all of that bit done. Working up the back. Oh, it's pretty obvious um, in the camera. I didn't notice that. It wasn't as obvious, or it's not as obvious in person. How interesting. So then I started, so that is one whole ball, one whole cake. No, it's but the cake and then I have some left over, which I wanna save that leftover for part of the sleeve or going around. And then I'm working on one of the front panels. So got that, slow and steady, I'm working on it. <laughs> it's pretty tedious. Uh, it's a two row repeat, one's a chain row and then the other one is a double crochet chain, one double crochets row. It is great for mindless work if you're listening to an audiobook or if you um if you're watching TV or the light isn't so great and you're not just staring at stitches. It's a nice little pattern to work up. Uh the Hobby Lobby, let's see, that's that hand-dyed yarn. Um it feels light, it feels breezy. I think it'll it'll do well. And I was on so I'm still working on that. I was on Instagram and I saw a cute little summer purse. It was a sunflower summer purse and it was posted just a picture. It had a very brief description. It wasn't in English. I took copied and pasted the wordage and I put it into Google Translate and it was basically saying like, contact me for the pattern. And so I went back to the, I sent it to a friend and then I went back to, so I wouldn't lose it because Instagram, those reels, once you lose them, it's really hard to go back and try and find them. So then I went back to the original picture and I contacted the Instagram handle, the person that, that posted the picture. And the reply I got back was a link to a, a private website for sales, but it wasn't crochet or yarn related. Um, I'm not sure. It was, and then the rest wasn't in English in the website. I don't know. So I was not able to get a pattern for a really, really cute sunflower purse that I saw. That's okay. We're fiber artists. I tried my best. Um, so I decided to duplicate the purse by whatever means necessary. So I looked up tons of different patterns and combined a lot of different patterns and I came up with a sunflower purse. It is a crossbody. It is a crossbody. I will attach a I will put a picture at the end of the inspiration. So let's see. The actual purse part is from a pattern I found for free on Ravelry. I will link that. That's this upside down looping arches. Very pretty. Then at the end, I've made a little popcorn bobble stitch all the way around. I skipped the first 10 and then I did this little textured stitch around. That's my own, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I noticed that the top part was a little loose. So I went through with a couple rows of single crochets just to add some texture. And then I found a pattern for, I think it was a coaster. No, no, no. The first pattern I found was for a 
placemat for a table. How's that? That's a this brown bit, a placemat for a table. Then I found a pattern for a sunflower coaster. Those are the petals, sunflower coaster. And um, I just, I stitched it on to the back. So the back is leaf, loose, loose petals, but it is firmly attached to the back and it is attached across the back of the purse. And then bloop. And then I put a little stitch marker on there that says handmade and it's a tiny little flower, just as a little detail. And then for the handle, I want it to be totally adjustable so that it could be worn over the shoulder, it could be worn crossbody, but I don't want it to be um, uncomfortably loose. And sometimes when we crochet purse handles or belts, the cotton works its way into the stitches and it be does become stretched out. So I did a window, just like a little window, and then I put a piece of ribbon in there. The ribbon will help the strap from getting too stretched out. This button is just for looks. Around my purse, I made two little handle bits. I think it was like eight single crochets and then I did two single crochets, chain two, no, it would have been four and four is eight. Two, four, and a chain, and then two, and then when I went back across, I grabbed those chains so it would be nice and firm. So I did that to attach that side. On this side, it is a working button, so it can be adjusted up or down. So I sewed my button onto that end and you can tuck the button into the window pane. And so then I noticed that the purse that I really liked that it had accessories on it. So I did two little, I did a leaf, fun little leaf pattern. I think that was Ravelry and I think it was a bookmark. And when I got to the other end, I reversed the leaf pattern. Nice little flowy twisty leaf on there. And then, oh, I used my favorite bow pattern so I can make a bow because I needed to incorporate more of the yellow on there into the handle. So yes, I made a cute little cross body purse. That was fun. I made that all in one night. Well, one night for all the crocheting and then the next morning, so all night on my overnight shift. Then the next morning I created, I assembled the handle, the ribbon and the strap, and then I attached my accessories. So a night shift plus some. <laughs> it was fun, I really like it. I'm, I'm excited to gift it. I think it's some creative good work. I will link everything that I could possibly link to help you create one if you want in the description box below, but please have fun with something that you see. It's really nice to support pattern designers, but if for whatever reason you're unable to contact them or get the information that you need, sometimes we gotta wing it. We gotta wing it. <laughs> I was watching a YouTube video this morning by a new to me channel. Her name is Caroline for the love of crochet. And she is working with um, Creatively Ever After, and they have created a, um, a playlist, and it's called Hooking Up With Books. And they work about a month or two months at a time together, and they pick a book, they read the book, and then they crochet something inspired, inspired by the book. And this morning I was sitting in the car, just waiting between here and there, and I watched her YouTube video and she made an adorable little doll from a, with a parasol. And it was so cute. And it was a character from a book that they had read. I really like reading. I like listening to the audiobooks on my night shift so I have crochet. Um, been going through quite a few of them. I've been linking in the description box below the books that I'm currently reading. 
listening to? It's through Libby. It's a, the free library, online library. And uh, Caroline mentioned that a book is coming up. It's starting, will be starting on the 1st. So it's due, I think, July 15th. She's going to share all the makes that anyone makes from the book. And it's called um, The Marsh King's Daughter. And so I looked it up on Libby. It was available, so I borrowed it really quickly and started listening to it. I love it. It's a really good book. Um, I think I'm only on, I don't know, the very beginning, first 15, 20 minutes of the book. I'm into it. I'm already having ideas of what I can crochet from the book. So I'm going to find a little page in my notepad and keep some notes about some characters and some ideas and some fun things I'd love to, that's inspired already, but I, adding details from the rest of the book. Um, it's fun. It's fun. It's a way to belong to or relate to a group of likely-minded friends, right? Um, I'm excited. I'm going to add that to my upcoming things to share with you. <laughs> So I've got that going on and in a little while here we're going to be going off to boxing so I will be listening to my Livy app, my Livy book, uh, possibly watching some YouTube videos today and oh, I don't really have an active small project to take with me in the car. So I'm probably going to take Breezy Cardi. And then I still have my um, my black cobweb cardigan that sits next to me on the couch in the living room. I could take that with me. I got those two actives. Or I could start something new. <laughs> could take a little ball of yarn with me and see what I can start. Maybe. Should I start a new whip? I need small car project travel projects because these two cardies are getting pretty big and they're kind of hard to work on in the car. It's okay for an overnight because I take a bag with me and I can put everything I need in the bag. I might be starting something new. Hmm, I've got some time to think about it. I did get the skin tone cotton when I went down to LA a couple weeks ago. I've been really looking forward to starting a doll with that. We'll see. Well, thank you very much for visiting with me. I hope you're doing well, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.